Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime. I'm still asking you to simplify each expression, and if you notice, the simplification going on down here is multiplication. This expression says 7 times x times 5. I'm asking you to multiply together some numbers and some variables, some unknown numbers. The x is an unknown number. Remember that we can multiply in any order we want. We proved that in the last two videos. And so I am going to deal with the number numeric portion first. 5 times 7 is 35. Now you might be wondering, well, how am I going to multiply 35 times x when I don't know what x is. Yeah, you don't know what x is, so all you do is just shove 35 and x together real tight, nothing between them, not even a parenthesis anymore. And what you're telling me here in the language of algebra is that those two things are multiplying. Proximity means multiplication. So what you're telling me here is 35 times x is simply 35 x's. If I had an x happen 35 times, I'd have 35 x's. Whatever x is, there's 35 of him. And that is the final answer. This is simplified. This is as simple as it's going to get. Too many students now rack their brain trying to figure out what x is. You can't figure out what x is. You can't solve for x in an expression. All you can do is do the math you can do, like the 7 times 5 and then walk away, which is what we're going to do right here. This problem is done. Okay, let's look at the next one. This time, notice like I'm asking you to multiply 7 times 5x. Well, this might look different to you, but realize what this means. See how this 5 and this x are shoved together? Those two things, the 5 and the x, are multiplying. And then what I'm asking you to do, I'm also asking you to multiply by 7. Once again, we have a 7 an x and a 5 multiplying. They're just written in a different order. So same thing as before. We can just multiply together the 7 and the 5, and we can just shove the x on the back side to say it's multiplying with 35. 7 times 5x would be 35x. I hope you see where I'm going with this. It won't matter what order I have the numbers in. Whether the 7 and the 5 are back there, that's still a 35 multiplying with an x. Same here, that's still a 35 multiplying with an x. And then same here, uh, I still have a 5 and a 7, so I still get a 35 multiplying with an x, okay? Doesn't matter whether I use just proximity or proximity with parentheses uh, to express my multiplication. Doesn't matter what order those numbers are in, that's going to give me the same answer here. In this case, 35x is the simplified expression. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.